Hello everybody, I'm Just Lance and I'd like to welcome you all back for another video and yes, we are shaving with a bronze timeless. Um, in case you didn't see my last video, here she is. Timeless bronze razor, it has the logo down here. Um, has the 0 0.78 blade gap, 7.8 millimeter blade gap. Open comb. It's got this 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 beautiful work on the cap where it goes ahead and it comes. I believe I can't remember. I think they call this their scalloped head, and it just kind of goes over lines and lines up with the um, with the with the actual openings of the comb. And not a whole bunch of blade reveal. And not major blade gap, but I've heard lots of good things about it. So, we're going to go ahead. Hopefully, it will be as enjoyable of an experience as um, others have said it is. The brush, Razor Rock 400, synthetic brush. The soap is from my sample of um, PAA, our Crumb King, Planet 9. And that's been pressed down here into my nice, beautiful, brand new plastic um, timeless lather bowl, which have these these big ridges that go up the side and they kind of come almost kind of like they're kind of swirling a little bit. Um, so I pressed it down into there. So gonna add a little bit of water into the bowl. Add a little bit of water in the bowl. And grab the brush. And start loading. So I'll go ahead and cut away here and load it up or you know make a lather and I'll be back in a minute that's some lather people it lathered up very quickly in that bowl um, this is my true first true lather bowl well I've got a PAA scuttle a Crown King scuttle um, and that does really good but I mean with the big the size of the ridges in the bottom of this bowl I mean it just it whipped that Planet 9 up in nothing flat. Anyways, I'll wet the face and wet the face and lather up. Oh yeah. Very nice, very nice indeed. If you all hear buzzing in the background, that's my fan. It's a little warm here still, in my parts. Not quite as hot here as it is in some parts of the country, but it's a little warm. Um, okay. Let's 
We get that lathered up. Hmm. Who knows? I might become a bull lather. Gonna have to try that, guys. Rich, Rich Hansen shaving with Rich Trick on building an epic lather. So I'll go ahead and see. Gonna warm this blood a little. first pass with the grain. That's very comfortable. Oh yeah. That is comfortable. Oh yeah, it's just whacking them all right off. Um, one moment, folks. Yeah, it's, it's knocking the hair off really, really good. I'm liking it. I'm really, really liking it. by the way, um, I don't know if I mentioned it, but the blade is an Astra SP on its first use. I probably could have. Squeeze one more shave out of my silver blue, but what the heck, new razor? Use a new blade. Off here, and we'll do a second pass. All right, back to the second pass. I have been wanting one of these timeless for well, ever since I saw Andrew Lyons. Which I hope he's doing okay. I haven't seen anything from him in a while. Um, I don't know if he's just decided to call it quits. Or if he's just not in a place where he can do videos. Because from what I understand, he is a active soldier. And his unit, they quite reward were quite decorated I guess um, or his squad whatever it is battalion brigade whatever it is that he's in um, so I hope wherever he is he's staying safe one moment but uh, he just went on and went on and went on about these timeless razors. And from what I understand from everything he said, Chris Bailey was like, I got to try one. And, um, you know, Chris Bailey, he liked it. Whether you like Chris Bailey or not, he's, you know, he seems to know quality razor when he comes across one. Um, other guys I've seen use them, talk about them, they just really like them. So, it's like, I gotta get one. Gonna go across the grain. There we go. 
and it's just knocking the stuff off like nothing. I think I nicked myself. My fault, not the razors. But, um. It's definitely a smooth shaver. I'll say that. Still very smooth. Alright, here we go across the upper lip. Side's done. Okay, that was nice. Nice second pass. One moment. Here we go, third pass. I'll just sit there and paint on here. Fear of the Walking Dead is finally back on. Happy about that. There we go. Third pass against the grain. You know what? This the knurling on this, the way the handles design, it's it's grippy. It's it's got some grip to it. I'm really enjoying this razor guys. Really enjoying it. Yeah, that's that's smooth. Yeah, that is smooth. Go across here real quick. This is my little trouble spot. Alright. Here we go. Up the cheeks. Oh yeah. Almost decided to go with the Christopher Bradley carb razor, um, but I said no. Oh, I want to try it. One moment, but uh, almost got that carb, and uh, I'm glad I got this. So far. Oh yeah, it's really doing a nice job against gray.
Yeah, yeah. It's wanted down really. It wanted down really good. Um, a bit right there. Anyways, so let's see how. Let's see what it feels like. Anyways, oh, go ahead. Get right there. But anyways, my little boy's in here. Um, he's with me. He's messing with something he shouldn't. But anyhow, um, so yeah, that feels that feels really really good. Except right there. Let's go ahead and let's get right there. Anyways, I'll go ahead, put the way here, rinse off, touch up any little spots, come back for the alum to see what the alum says, with it being a new razor and all, and then cut away and go to the post, and see you in the post, so I'll see you in a minute. Alright folks, got the Omega alum, we'll see what, she, what it says. Uh, a little bit of a bite, but not too bad. Anyways, so yeah, uh, now I'm not too bad. Uh, oops. Anyways, so yeah, I'll go ahead, cut away here, rinse off, do my head, and then I'll come back for the post. See y'all in a minute. That, folks, was an awesome, awesome shave. Um, BBS on the cheeks, chin, upper lip, the majority of my neck. Pretty good down here. Um, my noggin, well, I kind of got lost in the shave there a couple of times, and I went ahead and put a little bit too much pressure here in a couple of spots on the back of my head. So that was totally, utterly my fault, not the razors. It is a heavier razor being bronze, so um, you do got to kind of keep keep that in mind. But other than that, yeah, the razor is just... Uh, I'm not going to say I, I'm over the moon with it. Um, for a first shave, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. I'll definitely say I'm impressed. But I'm not going to say, oh, this is the best razor I've ever used. It's absolutely amazing. Um, not yet. I need I need a week or so of solid uses of it to go ahead and say that um, or to make up my my completely make up my mind on it but really nice first shave I'm really happy with that um, no complaints there uh, the soap did great on um, planet 9 by PAA it's got a nice post shave or Crown King it's got a nice post shave uh, I don't own anything other than Crown King samples, so um, other than the samples I got, I don't have like a bunch of tubs of it to set there and say, but that's normal for PAA. I imagine it probably is because a lot of people say that about it. That's a good guy get fish shape. So, um, or Crown King, I should say. Um, a lot of people like it, so I imagine that's probably the norm. But good soap, good post shave, slickness, glide, cushion, everything you want. The timeless slather bowl, awesome, awesome way to lather up, you know, to turn your soap into a lather. Uh, the Razor Rock 400, good brush for that bowl. I can see why Chris Bailey recommends it for that bowl because it is. I mean, look at that. Guys, that, that, that's a deep bowl. And so, um, 
that's a good one for that. Uh, I'll probably try other brushes in it, but I really like that bowl. It's a real cool bowl. I'm happy to have it in the collection. So, let's go ahead and let's do the post shave. Dickinson's Witch Hazel. I know that the aftershave is going to kind of bite me on the back of the head because me losing the tension and, and kind of digging in there a little bit. I'll uh, tell you what, brand new Astro Blade on its first use. Um, I love them blades. They're absolutely great for blades. Wonderful blades. Um, I gotta get some more. I will always have Astro Greens in my den. Um, I'll tell you what, it's a brand new blade. It will definitely get you if you, if you lose attention. Or if your attention slips at all. Ooh, 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 ooh. I don't do that. Um, Alright. And the aftershave will be, once I locate it, Hanad Klepman. Let this dry down a little. Yeah, it bit me back there. <laughs> um, Trevor, if you're watching this, I watched your final video last night. Um, I was just starting to get into you, man. Just in case you haven't seen my comment, you probably have. But I will say this: I was getting into you, man, and and um, you know some of the things you pointed out in the video of why you're stepping away, why you're ending it. I can understand, and you know what I said in the comment. Uh, I'm in every word, man. Hope you and your wife find find happiness down the road. I really do. Because um, it sounds like all but one aspect of your life, you guys are absolutely happy um, from what videos I've seen um, when you did mention your wife. Uh, I've never heard you say anything bad or anything or make any, you know, make any, any, inferences to being unhappy other than that one thing that you and your wife for you and your wife and um, good luck to the both of you anyways anyways folks that was the shave uh, hope y'all enjoy as much as I did uh, I finally got my time list um, anyhow uh, y'all take it easy have some good shaves um, and if you need to reach me via email, just lance 59 at gmail.com, all lowercase. Um, oh, by the way, real quick, before I forget, got a new subscriber. His name is Ray R. That's uh, his, his, the name that goes on under on YouTube. Ray, welcome to the channel. Um, I, hope, I, hope you and, I hope you enjoy your time here with me. Um, I appreciate your subscription, just like I appreciate everybody's subscriptions. Um, anyways, so have a good one, guys, and see y'all later. Bye now.